Hello everyone, this is Doxy Mom and welcome back to my channel. I thought I'd just try to sneak one more video in tonight since I've got church tomorrow, then we have a cookout and I've got a grandbaby coming just any time now. But me and Miss Indy, we're going to bring you the news in 15 minutes or less, so let's get started. Now, I found a tweet by Charlie Daniels that goes like this. He tweeted this out on Thursday, July 4th. Today, we are celebrating the 243rd birthday of the greatest nation on earth. And those who don't feel that way, there are planes and boats leaving for every corner of the world every day. Happy birthday, my beautiful America. Don't you just love Charlie Daniels? Now, I found another tweet by Ru Rudy Giuliani, and he said this, Let's all remember our great nation is rooted in the rights given to us by God and declared for the ages in our Declaration of Independence. Well, amen, Rudy. You know, we are truly blessed to live in a country where we can worship Jesus openly with no fear. So thank you, Jesus, that we have those freedoms. Now, LT over at And And We Know, he put together another Serial Brain 2 video, and I'll leave a link to both videos. I'm only going to talk about the first one tonight because I just haven't had time to finish the second one yet. But there were some very interesting things in this video. First, he said many African Americans and Hispanic voters are leaving the Democrat Party. Then he said, with Mexico keeping illegals in Mexico, there'll be no additional illegal votes to worry about. And number three, a major deportation is getting ready to take place. Plus, you know, Tom Fenton, he's over there cleaning up the voter rolls. He's already got about a million and a half people off, and he's got a million and a half people to go. So that's, that's good as well. But according to Serial Brain 2, the cabal wants to get Biden out of the race. Now, guys, the cabal will get everyone out of the race except the one name I did not want to hear, Kamala Harris. Oh, well, the reason they want her to run is because she's a woman, and most people think she's African-American, but she's not. She's part Jamaican and part Indian. But, they're hoping to get back some votes, especially if they pair her with a VP who was fluent in Spanish. Now, according to Serial Brain 2, the cabal is working towards Trump running against Kamala. Mm. Now, you guys, just please pray this doesn't happen, but I've been dreading this since the day I heard that woman was going to put her name in the hat. That woman is evil, y'all. I'm just here, here to tell you. But the good news is, is that she won't beat Trump. Trump's going to win. Go Trump 2020. Now, like I said, I haven't had time to finish part two, uh, but when I do, I'll get back to you on that. Now, today, uh, Saturday, July 6th, in Plantation, Florida, which is outside of Fort Lauderdale, a major gas explosion happened, and guys, people thought a bomb had exploded but 21 people were injured, and there is so much destruction. Now, I'm going to leave a link to Fox News where you can go over and see the pictures of all the debris. It's just spread all over everywhere, just buildings demolished. It's, it's just terrible. But they think that a gas pipeline blew up, but it's amazing that no one was killed. Thank you, Jesus, for that. But, guys, we have to pray for those that are injured, okay? Now... Can I just say that Alabama is a rocking state? I mean, first they outlaw, outlaw abortion, and then they had that Ford dealership who was giving away a Bible and an American flag and a gun if you bought a, a vehicle from them over the 4th of July. Well, now their congressman, uh, Mr. Mo Brooks, he suggested that Colin Kaepernick move to another country if he's so unhappy with the United States. Hmm. Now, didn't I just suggest that uh, a while back in a video? I believe I did. But, you know, if I ever decided to move, I think I might move to Alabama. But, of course, you know, when you got seven horses, four dogs, two cats, and I think that's all of the animals, 
It's just kind of difficult to move, so I'll probably just stay where I'm at. Anyway, Congressman Brooks, he also said that there were, that there were very radical people in the United States of America that don't like America. And I would put Mr. Kaepernick in that category. All of these things that we enjoy, he seems to frown upon. So I just assume he'd leave. Hmm, well said, Congressman Brooks. Keep up the great work, Alabama, and I'll leave a link. Now, the El Chapo trial, it lasted three months, and 14 people came forward and talked about how El Chapo tortured people, he had people killed, and he killed people himself. Mm. Guys, this man is the true face of evil. Now, he's due back in court on July 17th. Hmm, July 17th, the same day that Mueller is going to testify in front of Congress and the same day that our wonderful president's going to be having a big old rally in Greenville, North Carolina. Now, back to El Chapo. His sentencing uh, will, will be coming up because he was found guilty on 10 federal counts. And since one of those charges was drug trafficking into the United States... Because, and, and because of Trump's executive order, the government is, it is entitled to all of his property and assets that facilitated the commission of those crimes. Now, authorities came up with a figure of $12 billion, that's with a B, and hopefully our government has a good plan for all this money. Now, El Chapo, he is facing life in prison, and I'll leave a link because we just need to pray that he will repent and find Jesus because if he doesn't, mm -mm -mm, it's going to be really, really bad for him. Now, I wanted to share a tweet with you from Ryan Savita, or Savidra, and it says, Breaking Democrat Representative Veronica Escobar from Texas is secretly sending staff into Mexico to coach asylum seekers to pretend they cannot speak Spanish to exploit a loophole letting them to return to the United States. Hmm, Veronica, isn't that illegal? I believe it is. And then uh, Jack Posobiec, he made this tweet. He said, God is on the move, the demons feel it, and lash out with their hatred. Prayer will win. And Jack, God will win. Hey, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Thanks for tuning in. I'm Doxy Mom here with Indy. And until next time, God bless you all.